I had my birthday this week. I turned seven. <laughs> oh, I have a present for you. Maybe. Okay. Let me get a box with tooth. <laughs> no, clothes. <laughs> Something with hair? No. My mom bought me a new gym bag and told me that now I am playing soccer like the rest of my friends. And I needed a bag that would help me get ready for that. Mom told me that now I was part of the team. I had to be more responsible for my equipment and gear at practice and at home. She said that I had to make sure that I had everything before I left for practice and the bag would tell me if I missed anything needed for practice. Then she told me that we had to pack all of my equipment into the bag in order to show the bag what should be going to practice with me. We put all the stuff together. She told me that this bag would remember what it is carrying. I was thinking about how cool my friends will think I am with a high-tech bag that remembers what I need to bring to practice and when I need to go to practice. I came back home from school and I saw my soccer bag glowing. Oh yeah, tomorrow is my first soccer practice. When I was done, I pressed the check button and the bag showed me a photo of towel. Oh, I definitely need a towel. So I put my towel in the bag. The next morning, I woke up, got ready, and I was about to leave. My bag was glowing green. Thanks, Mr. Bag. All ready. As I got used to the soccer schedule and packing my own stuff, I started to forget to push the button. One day before I go to school, the bag began to glow red, telling me that I forgot to put my cap inside. I'm glad that it did, because it was going to be hot that day. After getting smart back, my life got a lot easier from the normal morning craziness. It was always my responsibility to check everyone's bags, pack the lunches, get Johnny to school, whatever. But now, this smart bag is helping me out and saving me a few more minutes in the morning. I feel like I don't have to nag anyone to do what they're supposed to do. After setting the bag, it reminds Johnny to pack his bag and not forget anything. What's even better, I can leave him a timely message. Something where he can get the message from me at the moment that he needs to hear it. Like when his last class ends and he needs to remember to bring something home with him from his cubby. I didn't quite believe it at first that my seven-year-old would be able to do things on his own. But one day I received an email from the bag. It told me that Johnny had been repeatedly packing his equipment without any mistakes. Needless to say, I was pleasantly surprised and went over to him and told him, I'm really proud of you and I'm proud that you're getting to be such a big boy ready for school and practice all by yourself.